Do you know the difference between wire, strand, rope, and cable? Because knowing that difference and knowing which one to use can be critical for structural safety. Hi, I'm Paul Kasavian, I'm a structural engineer, and this is a piece of steel wire. This can be used to carry tension forces in structures. I've designed a whole series of structures that use tension, and they've included suspended sculptures, pedestrian bridges, larger bridges, and in those, when we want to use a member to carry tension, you can use wire, or you can use strand, or rope, or cable. So that's four words I've just used, wire, strand, rope, cable, that all sound very similar to each other, but they are actually different and importantly need to be used only in certain situations. Let's start with wire. Now this is just a single piece of material. If this breaks, that's it. You're not carrying any more tension force through it, obviously. And these are regularly used to suspend, typically indoors, meaning there's no other forces other than self-weight, lightweight material. Most common use of this kind of wire is for suspended ceiling panels that you have in many office buildings. And this is usually looped around some of the frame, twisted three times at least, to install and be able to carry the tension forces through it. Now, the safety factor on this kind of a wire is quite high for a couple of reasons. First of all, what I mentioned before, once it breaks, that's it. It's just a single point of failure. Second of all, this is steel that is what's called cold drawn. And in that process of being cold drawn, it makes the actual steel material more brittle, meaning less ductile, meaning it breaks quicker and with less warning than normal structural steel. So for that reason, often when you're using steel wire like this, there is at least a safety factor of four on this kind of wire. It gets a little tricky in our industry because I've noticed that not everyone supplies a safety factor. Um, I'll, I'll put up, I think Clark Dietrich does a really good job and they list their safety factor of four related to the products you can buy from them. So you basically, they quote you a load it breaks at and then divide it by four. So that's the number you should use when you're designing a structure. Now, if you're dealing with higher loads or you want a sort of different, something different than just a single wire, what you can get is what's called strand. Now strand is this part, I'm going to do a close-up of this, and that's made out of a collection of single, small, very thin wire. And when you deal with strand, these multiple wires that collect into the strand, you often see it listed with numbers something like 1x19, that's what this is. That means it's a single strand and it means made out of 19 wires. Okay, if you then put multiple strands together, you get what's called rope, all right? So wire, individual, strand is a group of wires, a group of strands is called rope. And you're probably thinking, well, hang on a second, this is all you seem to be holding, what on earth is cable? Hang on, cable is either rope or strand. In other words, cable is just when you have a bunch of wires, no matter what organizational way you have placed them in, right? It may be a 1x19, or it may be a sort of number similar to seven times seven, which is seven strands, each with seven wires, right? Something like that. Now, when you have got a cable, then you can follow the rules in the ASCE 19 uh, code, which provides for safety factor of just 2.2. That's a lot less than four. And uh, that makes a lot of sense. You've got um, a whole set of wires in here. Um, here's actually an image of a cable when it's broken. And this is also typically when you're in this world of products, these are more standardized. There's a whole set of different fittings. You can see here, there's a thimble, a compression sleeve. You may also have I put this down a turnbuckle, which will help you tension and sort of equilibrate suspended structures, many of which are quite indeterminate. 
meaning there are many supports crossing the, st the structure and you would like to sort of make sure it's all balanced to make the load in the tension elements as even as possible. So, there you have it. Wire, strand, rope. And cable being rope and strand. And if it helps you remember these things, that's the way I, at least the, something that helps me when I think of material through different scales, I sometimes think of, let's say, a tree where you have twig, branch, trunk, in terms of moving up in scale, or with water you may have river, sea, ocean, right? If those things either help you twig, branch, trunk, river, sea, ocean, and wire, strand, rope. I hope that helps you. Uh, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Thanks.